Hey guys, uh, welcome to your career and money reading. This is going to be for Aquarius for the rest of your January 2023. Um, you can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. So we're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys uh, regarding your career and your money. And then we'll finish off the reads to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the uh, subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Uh, give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Uh, keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Aquarius people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situation and your energies, I suggest you uh, book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. All right. So tell me about Aquarius here regarding their career and their money for the rest of January 2023. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs for... Uh, Aquarius. Oops. Two of Pentacles here and the Seven of Pentacles. Two plus seven is nine. Okay. Um, you know, whatever readjustments or, uh, you know, that you made regarding your career, your money, I feel like it's paying off here. Um, it, I do feel like it has something to do with like stocks or something like that, or, you know, um, you know, cryptocurrency, it has something to do with your investments. Okay. Um, so whatever this is, this is paying off here, I feel because, you know, I feel like financially, you're going to be pretty well off here. Two plus seven, nine of pentacles. Yeah. Um, let's see, we have the Two of Swords here and the Knight of Swords here, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Okay, seems like you have a decision to make. You have many decisions to make here, and I feel like it has something to do with your investments, and I feel like you're trying try not to make any impulsive moves here. Uh, because regarding if you're investing in stocks, I feel like you have lost money, a large amount of money here, and I feel like you're trying to, like, figure out how to not let that happen okay uh let's see what else we have here we have the chariot here cancer energy in the nine of cups this is pretty specific here but i feel like some of you guys some of you guys could be getting into this sort of like van life situation here okay where you guys are like traveling around and you know just living this like nomadic lifestyle here and i feel like you're gonna find happiness through that okay this is so interesting because I feel like a lot of the money that you make online or that you will make, uh, a, a lot of the money that you are making or will make will be both mostly based off online stuff, such as like stocks and cryptocurrency or something like that, you know? Uh, some of you guys could be investing in real estate or something like, not so much real estate, more so I feel like stocks here. You know, some of you guys are might be turning to social, social, social media, so, Maybe you guys could be starting, you know, your own YouTube page, you know, your Instagram page, you know, it's all only devoted to traveling here. Okay. So let's see. I could see you giving advice about stocks and stuff like that, you know, kind of like predictions about the markets here, you know, which company is going to be really great in investing in, which ones, which ones are not. Okay. So I feel like when it comes to that, I feel like it can be very versatile in it. Two of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. Seven of Pentacles here and the Strength card here, Leo Energy. This is so interesting. I can see you living this digital nomadic lifestyle here. Like I said, all the money that you're making is mostly online based stuff, okay? Uh, the Strength card here, Leo Energy. It seems like you're kind of like gaining the courage to really take this huge leap here about, you know, doing this nomadic lifestyle thing. Some of you guys could already be doing that here, okay? Uh, two of Swords. We have the Eight of Wands here. Tell me about the uh, Knight of Swords here. Knight of Swords and the King of Pentacles here. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. 
Whatever you're doing here, Aquarius, Eight of Wands, the Chariot here at Knight of Swords, very fast energy here. Things are really taking off here for you, okay? King of Pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I do feel like, you know, a boatload of money might be flooding in here for you, okay? You know, when it comes to your finances, I do feel like you're really stable and safe to allow you to live this lifestyle that you want to live. Yeah, uh, the Chariot here. We have the Star card, Aquarius energy. There you are right here. Seems like you might have found your life's purpose here in a way. You know, I do feel like, you know, I do feel like whatever you're doing here, it's going to be very, very, very public. I did mention something about social media here, so it's going to be recognized. It's going to be seen here. Okay. Um, you know, this, you know, the star card is the energy of like giving back and helping others here. So yeah, I feel like you might have, have advice about, you know, living out of the van, you know, tips about you know, traveling, you know, you know, even tips about like the stock market and, and how to do that, this uh, nomadic work and, and, you know, making money off the internet. Okay. The nine of cups here and the five of wands. Very, very, very interesting. I do, I do feel like there are people that's trying to stop you in your tracks in pursuing this. Okay. But, you know, as you know, I, 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 Aquarius, Aquarians are not really known to be, you know, known to be people that listen to other people it really depends you know the situation but you you guys tend to do things on your own you know and not follow you know social you know societal uh norms right so let's see what else we have here for aquarius what else do we have here for aquarius regarding the career and the money here for January, for the rest of January 2023, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cooper signs here for Aquarius. All right, we have the Page of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy, and the Four of Wands here. We have the Seven of Swords here and the Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. And then the Ace of Swords here and the King of Swords here, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Okay, so the Page of Wands here and the Four of Wands. You know, this is so interesting. I feel like, you know, there is an energy of want, like there's a lifestyle that you want to pursue here. OK, um, but I do feel like there is someone here that's trying to stop you from doing it. Whoever this is, this is someone that you broke up with, I feel. OK, this is someone that has lied to you. This is someone that, that has been very, uh, been very deceptive towards you. OK, and I feel like maybe like this relationship that you were in really kind of like sparked this like change in direction in your life. And I feel like, like I said, I feel like you're going to take it. So whoever this is, whoever this person that's chasing you here, this is someone that you don't want anything to do with this person. This is someone here that you want to run as far away as possible from this individual, okay? You know, and I, one of the things I feel like if this is a, the style, if this is the lifestyle that you want to live, you know, you're going to create your home anywhere that you go, okay? Uh, because it's, you know, it's kind of like a cliche, but you know, the home that you create, it kind of comes from within, right? So anywhere that you go, you, you're going to create the home that you want, okay? Um, so the Page of Wands here. Two of Cups, the Four of Wands here, and the Knight of Cups. I do feel like through your travels, you can you can meet your soulmate here, okay? Could be a fire sign, could be a water sign here. Uh, I do feel like you're going to meet this person in like maybe a, like a hotel that you're going to stay at for one night or a hostel or something like that. You might share a bedroom with this person, uh, especially if it's a hostel. But yeah, you could meet your new love, your new soulmate here in this um, situation that you're in. Okay, um, so uh, Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the Seven of Swords here. We have the Justice card, Libra Energy, the Queen of Pentacles here, uh, the Queen of Swords, and the Three of Pentacles. We have someone here that wants to come back around to work things out here with you. Seems like whoever this is that's trying to come back or trying to sneak back into your life, this person hasn't really quite learned their lesson yet. Okay, um, let's see. I, I do feel like some of you guys are, you know, kind of like, you know, uh, you know, are into the same sex here. Okay, it doesn't have to be. Just apply this to your own unique situation. The Ace of Swords, we have the King of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy here, and the High Priestess here, Cancer, Pisces here. This is giving you that peace and stability that you're looking for here. This is actually giving you the, a lot of knowledge and wisdom here by actually going out there and experiencing what you need to experience here. Okay, so uh, this is kind of like a spiritual journey that you're on. It's kind of like a spiritual pilgrimage. Okay, uh, 
and I see you documenting it. So uh, Aquarius, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys, bye.